Looking for ways to become rich from CS2 investing? Well, you've come to the right place because in this video, I'm going to give you guys five tips on how to grow your CSGO net worth, how to make a lot of money playing this game, and get the inventory of your dreams. But before we get into the video, guys, SkinSwap is today's sponsor. If you guys use the affiliate link in the video description, you will get a free item worth up to $200, no strings attached. They are a top-of-the-line marketplace where you can buy, sell, and trade your CSGO skins, as well as your Rust skins. The rates over there are pretty compelling, and they're offering you guys a massive 40% bonus when you use the link in the description. And I know many of you guys are interested in finding ways to cash out your CSGO skins. This is the perfect site for you guys because they offer a variety of payout options options, which I'm sure many of you guys will appreciate. But now back to the video. So coming in at number five, the fifth tip I have for you guys is to play the long game. Don't trade in and out of positions every day, every week, and hope to get lucky on trends and buzzwords and popular items that you find on TikTok or people pumping on the internet. Don't do that. Go after items that are fundamentally sound. Make sure that you enter positions at attractive prices when prices are typically low or going down for whatever reason. Basically picking predictable trends like major sticker capsules, major stickers, items that are relatively new and have good fundamentals going for them. If an operation comes out, you invest in the case when you know it's a limited time only item that will stop dropping once the operation ends. Stuff like that. Tip number four, avoid the urge to gamble away your riches. Do not gloss over this, ladies and gentlemen, because I kid you not, this can cost you thousands of dollars in the long run. I'll give you an example. Back in 2019, I was an idiot and I bought a bunch of stars from the operation Shattered Web instead of actually buying the skins from those collections. I could have purchased the Gungnir for like a thousand bucks, but instead I bought stars hoping to get lucky. And in the end, I didn't end up getting a Gungnir. The best thing I got was like a Jormungandr, and that's about it. Remember that the house always wins, and you should just be smart with your money instead of gambling it away. Tip number three that I have for you guys is to claim your weekly drops every week. It's literally free money, so you may as well play the game, play your competitives, play your deathmatches practice the game, enjoy, have fun, play with friends, and also claim the skin and the case that you get every week. You never know when you may get a Bravo case or weapons case and you just made an easy 50 to $100. Tip number two is actually very important. Don't shy away from items that have a high supply. Instead, I want you guys to gravitate towards items that have high demand and that are affordable. I'd much rather invest in an item that has a large supply but has the potential for a demand spike because the fundamentals may change in the future than some something that has a super low supply that nobody is touching, nobody wants. Tip number one, and this is super important, be greedy when others are fearful, and fearful when others are greedy. This basically means that when prices are high, don't be afraid to take profits and lock in those gains. And when prices are low and falling down, take the risk that nobody is willing to take and start building your position for the long run. Your future self will thank you. 